Hi. Okay, so here is an alternative way to make your DAW work in a Windows environment a lot easier and a lot more efficient than using just a single port routing in MIDIOX. So what I've done is I've installed a loop MIDI driver. You can find it uh, by typing loop MIDI in Google and check this out. So download loop MIDI, you get to download the installer and once it's running just open the application and create two ports. Um, what I've done is just uh, create a port here and click the plus sign and then create another one. So I've created port in and port out so that they appear in um, MIDIOX with these titles. So what this means is we can then um, create a loop inside the MIDIOX application which is running in uh, tray. So Ethernet MIDI, uh, it comes from my Mac because I'm running a virtual machine and um, the MIDI comes, let's say this is a physical dev device and it comes from the physical device where the uh, synth is connected uh, and it's been routed in a loop MIDI port in and then the physical output of the synth uh, goes, oh, sorry, the uh, loop virtual device out goes into the physical device output port so that we can send nodes from DAW into the physical MIDI device. And what I've done as well, I've um, disabled system exclusive messages from passing through and then I've got this uh, option toggled on so that when I minimize the window it goes into the tray and it's also been added into my startup items so uh, every time Windows starts it will be automatically launched like so and loop MIDI should open up automatically as well so you don't need to worry about that um, I think it's in options in this app let's see yeah uh, right click on this one and auto start loop MIDI and start minimized so it will start up with the windows so if I do some notes in my uh, keyboard I can see there's messages coming from the import because it's being routed right here and then I've disabled system exclusive and common messages from these parts so real-time clock um, auto sense they are coming through but everything else is bypassed all right so what this generally does is we can take MIDI from the DAW and send it into the virtual MIDI and from there it goes to the MIDI device MIDI out so it basically creates an additional uh, stream of MIDI inside the DAW or inside the computer which goes to the MIDI out and from there it goes to the synth and also we've got the second option where we clone the MIDI in and that comes into the MIDI aux and from there it goes to the virtual MIDI out and then into the DAW and I'm um, quickly going to show how that works within Cubase okay here is Cubase running and I'm just going to create empty project and go to studio setup and then I'm going to remove all of the um, physical devices which I don't want to appear in in the DAW stream so I'm basically going to take everything else off except the cloned um, 
device which is the loop MIDI in as we can see in the in here so this is the physical device and we want this device to be appearing in the DAW okay and then the same goes with the MIDI out so I'm just gonna take off everything else except the uh, virtual MIDI port which is right here and click OK and now if we add a new instrument track or MIDI track let's create the instrument track and virus C is my model in this case and I'm gonna choose the Ethernet MIDI in because I'm using the virtual uh, connection between the PC and Mac and Ethernet out goes into my virus and it's got the settings from the hardware so I can then synchronize data from hardware and it will get me everything that's in the hardware at the moment there we go okay request completed and all of the data has been received and now if we create new MIDI tracks we can assign these to virus C MIDI and let's create let's create four tracks and now we need to assign these MIDI tracks to go into the virtual out like so and if we start to play with the virus we get the sound coming from from um oh let's change the channels so the channels are properly set like so okay so if we go to this one and we start to play it goes into the channel one and this goes to channel two channel 3 is muted and then we take channel 4 you can see it's blinking on a channel 1 because we are receiving MIDI from from the physical device if that's something that bugs you you can take it off by processing hardware messages and take off the note messages and that should be alright so close that and we can't see the LEDs blinking anymore okay so that's quite simple that's very very um, good way to create uh, virtual MIDI out and virtual MIDI in inside the windows and just remember to have this as a start minimized and auto start MIDI loop and also with the MIDI aux to make the routing from the physical input into the loop MIDI port in and loop MIDI port out goes to the physical output. As long as they are good to go, it will show up the channel messages appearing in the right channel. Oh, that was the wrong end of the window. Let's try that again. So if I change the channel here, we can see in, that in the MIDI port activity window that it's going into the respected channel. All right, I hope this clears out how to use the virtual MIDI the most efficient way in your DAW environment. Um, I'm gonna go and create a lot more tutorials for uh, Cubase and Studio One, Reason and all that good stuff. So I'll see you soon. Bye.